The Ad Show. Hi there, I'm a shouty man. Guess in the comments what TV series that's from. Uh, I guess that'll only apply to people who are around my age or a little bit older and who lived in the UK at the time of it airing. But still, I'm sure a few of you will get it. So yeah, write down in the comments what that uh, was from. And today, we have, get, going back to some seriousness, we have a charity shop haul for you. So I went to, where was it, Old Twingham, and I went to town, was it? No, I went to the charity shop just up the road from me, not my local town. So yeah, I went to Altingham and I went, uh, I walked up to the charity shop near me and I got, what, seven, eight items-ish, something like that anyway. So it wasn't terrible, a few items. And yeah, I thought I'd share them with you. A few nice items here as well. Uh, mainly bread and butter stuff, but there is one item actually that's quite interesting that might be a little bit more valuable. So uh, I'll probably sh share that at the end or towards the end. So yeah. Yeah, stick around for that and uh, I will get on with the first item. Now, I may as well share the fails first. I mean, it's not like a really, really bad fail. There's going to be some money in it, but not tons of money. So, share with you this. Now, this is a Disney... Where's the stamp? I don't know where I'm going. I didn't know whether I wanted to share, share with you the price first or share with you the Disney stamp first. But, to be honest, where even is the Disney stamp on this? Ah, there it is. There it is. So, I don't know whether you can see that there. Disney... Um, and it is a Disney, I believe this is King Louie, is it, from the Jungle Book? I've not watched the Jungle Book in a long time, so, uh, yeah, I'm not too clued up on all the characters, but I think it's King Louie. Um, the one where he goes, I'm the king of the swingers or something. Is that his name, King Louie, or am I just associating that to Louis Armstrong? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Or maybe that's why they called him King Louie, because wasn't it Louis Armstrong who did the song? But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. Anyway, so this was £5, and I looked at this, and you know what I'm like with Disney plushies? I thought, oh yeah, this must be uh, valuable, because it's a big King Louis plush, and I've never really seen one before or anything. Um, but yeah, it's not really valuable. Now, uh, it goes for, I don't know, top end fourteen ninety nine, 99 something like that, put plus post. I think that's the top I've seen one go for. But the problem is, I didn't just get one of these for £5. <laughs> I saw two, I don't even think these are going to fit in the camera, look at that. I saw two of them for £5. Uh, so, well, not £5 for both, but £5 each. So I paid £10 for these two big plushies, expecting them to be about 35 quid each, because I'd never seen them before, and I thought, oh, well, if I've never seen them before, I've been doing this four and a half years, never seen them around the charity shops or car boots or anything. I don't think I have, maybe I've seen them once or twice or something, but I thought, oh, they must be really valuable, and they're really, really big as well, and so yeah, they've got to be valuable then. But no, they're really not. So what I'm going to do is probably put the two on for 30 quid. So I'm going to pair them up, do a bundle for 30 quid, and we'll see if we can get that. But to be honest, even from a tenner, 30 quid, it's okay. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a fail on that, because I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to get 30 quid for them. Uh, it might be that I only can get 25 or possibly even 20 quid for them uh, and in that case there wouldn't be much profit left in it for me at all but still i got those so that is those two so next i got this frustration board game for i don't know whether you see that there one pound 49 um now i don't normally pick up board games like this like sort of standard board games like this anymore but i did double check on complete and sold when i saw it because i thought you know what it's coming up to christmas or at the time of recording this it's the 4th of December, you'll be seeing it a lot later, but at the time of this, you know, it's coming up to Christmas, so I thought, you know what, there might be some money in it, and it seems like on Complete and Sold, consistently, sort of end of November time, they had been going for around the £10, possibly even a little bit more than £10, so I thought, from £1.49, yeah, I'll pick that up, uh, whack it on, and I'm sure it'll just get picked off pretty quickly um, in time for Christmas, and someone can get that and possibly play, play a board game at Christmas, or it might go towards a, a New Year's Eve party thing, I don't know, certain people do like to play certain board games on New Year's Eve and stuff, so you never know that might be where it's going but yeah £1.49 for that next I got an old classic that used to be worth a fair bit of money actually this I think this was the version that was worth good money uh, the mystery face game guess who now this is the 1987 version the 1979 version I think it is used to be really good money I don't know what 
that is like now but i'm guessing from the value of this one from how much value of this one's gone down the other one will have gone down in value as well but this 1987 version did used to be good money as well but the 1979 version used to just trump it a little bit by a fiver or something but it's no longer decent money i think this went as high as maybe 35 quid something like that possibly even a little bit higher before i was reselling but even you know sort of in the early beginnings of me reselling the first year or so uh, this was yeah about 30 35 quid it's not anymore uh, around sort of 15 to 20 something like that i think one person recently has possibly got 25 quid something like that but most of them are going for 15 quid possibly about 20 quid um but i put i actually only paid um 2.99 for this board game so even for you know for 15 quid 20 quid for from 2.99 i'm more than happy with that um but yeah it's a shame to see this one uh kind of that it's died a slow death really with price um and it's not as good as it once was because yeah I, I was picking this up and i probably got i probably got whole videos from way back when me picking this up and saying i'm gonna get 30 quid or 35 quid for it but yeah it is a bit of a shame that but a lot of the board games aren't what they used to be um and it, it was very lucky for for me because I just caught the tail end of the board game market and then after about a year of media and reselling the board games really started to tail off so I was quite lucky really with that but it is it is sad to see them go down in value really over the last few years but anyway that's that one 2 99 into I'll probably go 20 quid on it first off and we'll see. So hopefully 20 quid from 3 quid from that one. Next, I've got this uh, anti-gravity magnetic levitation 4M Kids Labs uh, science kit. My God, that was a mouthful. I didn't really need to say all that. But anyway, I could have just said it's an anti-gravity... No, actually, it would still be long even if I said anti-gravity magnetic levitation kit. No, no matter what way, it would have been a longer phrase that. But anyway, it's this little kit here. Let's just call it a science kit. This little science kit, brand new and sealed, obviously, as you can see. I paid £3 for that in a Bernardo's. It was in their kind of Christmas sealed stuff section. Um, and it seems to go between 16 and 20 quid. Um, I think I could get 20 quid for it fairly comfortable, uh, comfortably, especially this sort of time of year. So yeah, hopefully 3 quid into 20 quid on that one. Nice little thing to pick up. It's always good to find these little kits um, and just random sealed board games and stuff this time of year because they are going to get some decent money back and they are going to sell pretty quick. So yeah, 3 quid into 20 quid on that one as well. Then I've got this game. Now I might have seen this game before, but I don't think I've seen it sealed and I don't even know whether I've actually picked it up before for um but i definitely have seen it on my travels and it's this uh, chame chameleon game now uh, it has it up here awards 2017 best party game or something does it say yeah best party game um and yeah for i don't know i get i guess it's a pretty decent game i was just about to say but um i don't know i've not played it myself or anything but obviously it's won this award and stuff so it must be a pretty decent game um so yeah four quid for that and i'm looking to get about 25 pound back on that one so really nice uh, little margin there uh brand new and sealed as i say i don't i say i don't really know what you necessarily do with the game i'm just trying to think then but I, I don't know i haven't a clue i'd have to play it myself but i'm not going to because i'm gonna sell it so yeah four pound into 25 pound on that one probably even plus my postage as well i've seen quite a few sell around this sort of time of year 24.99 plus postage on the uh, sold so yeah four quid on that one and then finally this is the item that intrigues me this crayola vehicle designer kit now it is the box has a little bit of crushing and stuff uh, but it is brand new and sealed now i can't find these on the uk ebay site i found these on you know international sales and i don't think i could see this exact uh, box on there but there was very very similar vehicle designer sets from Crayola Go and they're all over the place I mean I think there was one that had gone for about seven quid this is mainly pre-owned as well um, there was one that had gone for about seven quid plus a load of postage to possibly the UK or something like that you know when they, when you see it and complete and sold and it's like seven quid but then in italics it's got 27 pound postage on or something ridiculous anyway um, so yeah I saw loads of different ones all over the place mainly though they 
they were pre-owned and not brand new and sealed. There was one that was very, very similar to this one, brand new and sealed, but it sold for £30.78 or something. Again, this, these prices were in italics because it sold internationally. £30.78 uh, plus loads of postage, you are, I don't know, 17 quid postage or something. So, I'm actually thinking of going fairly high on this, and I'm going to go for £49.99 plus postage. Don't know how much I paid. Oh, here we go. It's on the back there. I paid three ninety nine for that from British Heart Foundation of all places. I always, I always say, oh, British Heart Foundation. I never find anything in there, but there we go. I found this in here, and you know, even if I can't get forty nine ninety nine, then I should be able to get thirty quid, no trouble for it. Thirty quid or forty quid, but I am going to go high on that forty nine ninety nine plus my postage, with it being brand new and sealed and everything as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I might be able to get 50 quid on that, and that'd be a really nice margin, 4 quid into 50 quid. But even if I can't, even if I do have to come down, it'll still be a nice margin, that. So just interesting item, that one. Uh, and yeah, something different as well. I don't normally pick up... I don't think I've really ever picked up anything Crayola, to be honest. So yeah, that's uh, interesting. So anyway, that's that one. And that is it for today's haul video. So I tried to get through those pretty quick. I think we're only on, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. What are we on there? Oh no, it says there, 11 minutes and 37. So we've done pretty well today. I've not rambled too much. So yeah, those few of the items. If you have any comments, questions or queries, whack them down below. Well, I say that, I might, you might not be able to whack them down below because of this copper thing. I might need to put this video as marked for children because... Um, it's all toys and games, so I don't even know whether you'll be able to put a comment down below, but that's annoying. Uh, anyway, by this time, I'll have done, I've got a live chat with Nick tomorrow, which is the 5th of December. Uh, we're going to be talking about copper and stuff, so hopefully by this time people will be aware of what it is, and I'm not just riveting on and no one even knows what it is. Um, but yeah, so I've got a live chat uh, with Nick, sort of um, communicating to the reseller community, uh, what this copper thing is and what it means for things going forward, but I won't ramble on about that now. Um, so yeah, I might need to put this as made for kids, which means you can't comment down below, and you might not even be able to like the video from what I've heard. But I'm not, I'm not too sure on the liking thing. But you definitely won't be able to comment. So. Um, yeah, that's a bit annoying, um, but maybe you will be able to comment, I'm not sure, because the uh, legislations don't go into effect until January 1st, so I don't know when this kind of video is going to go up, but still. Anyway, I said I wouldn't ramble about that, we're doing well today, I've not been rambling on a haul video, and now I'm just messing it up by rambling, so I'll leave it there guys. Uh, oh, also don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, and if you can like the video, then do give it a like, um, if not, if you can't like or comment, then bit of a bugger in it really for the community who just like I mean, I'm literally talking just very one-sided really isn't it if you can't do that because I'm just talking to you and you can't give your feedback or opinion really so anyway if you can like it if you can comment please do so and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys